Welcome back to One Piece Anime Review, episode number 161. This is episode 982. The Straw Hat Step in a upper, upper deadly battle on the execution ground. This adapts pages 2 through 13 of chapter 244. Yeah, as of right now, with this particular episode, once a uh, well, there it got the 243 last week. That means the manga is exactly uh, almost 50 chapters ahead right now. I'd say about 47 right now. Mm-hmm. Yep, 47. So, episode picks up last week's episode left off. We have Sanji and Zoro showing up to protect Otaku and her father. And, well, Zoro basically holds her for, for a bit, and then she's ended off to... Sanji, while he tries to take down Aruchi. And the Straw Hats basically debate. Now, the whole scene with the Straw Hats basically just debating in the battle, that's all completely anime written. They added that in because that was not in the manga. The manga's like, oh, they just want to participate. Here they debated it and, like, okay. But Nami says, okay, all of us except for you two can, can fight because you two need to keep in hiding because, well, we don't want Odin's allies to be real just yet. But since it's our, our crew basically responds to this, We'll take care of it, no problem. And of course, Brooke himself. Now, Brooke was asked by Hidori, Momo's sister, if in fact Sanji is Zoro's ally. He says, yeah. Yeah, he is. Zoro himself does pretty much... Not Zoro. Brooke does nothing this episode. He's there. Doesn't do anything. Of course, you also see them deflecting bullets. And of course, well, you have Zoro going after Odin, but first takes out Odin's guards. And then he takes on the... The, the Yakuza boss, and that's where he's last seen. Frankie, of course, tells us Sanji where he does first his strong right, which basically his strong right is simply like a big chain where it says right on it, and then he does something. He, now, they, you see briefly him in the chapter. In the anime, they actually look more in for what he does. Rather, it is weapons left. Yeah, he does that to take out the guards. Robin, of course, gets a chance to tip in the ash, and he does the big spank, basically just hitting, or basically from giant hand, just to hit a bunch of guys. You have Usopp basically firing a bunch of shots from the top of a ladder. Yep, and then, of course, Aruchi basically goes off, and he does his own thing. Yep, and meanwhile, at the ground, at the prison, Udon prison, Luffy, of course, is watching this. Now, Luffy doesn't mention Hidori. That the flower boss, that th those guys are in fact his crew, but I can tell anybody else. Frankie, of course, after he beats up the guards, he picks up the uh, Otaku's father's body and, of course, runs away with it so he doesn't desecrate the corpse. Yeah, the prisoners are like, What the heck are you doing? Yeah, they're curious what the heck they're doing. Of course, they're not going to explain it later. Queen, of course, asks him those who crew, of course, he denies it. And then, like, oh, a criminal showing up at the prison. Like, okay. Who was it? And we see the Manslayer, who, the character who Zoro fought. And, and right behind him is Captain Kidd. And they explain how they captured him. It's quite interesting. And it turns out this Manslayer was, in fact, Killer. Kidd's right-hand man. Which, apparently, the crew has been separated. So... Apparently, he was given a defective smile fruit to get him because he wouldn't stop laughing. <coughs> he also took away his mask as well, so he gave him a Komodo, and they gave him some bandage to hide his face. And, of course, the way as you know him, he's like, yeah. And, of course, they do a flashback to the Sabaody arc. Yep, where he wears the outfit he wore, just pre-time skip. We see him have a conversation that was not there, but it's great the fact they added this. Where, like, Next time we see him, will be in the New World. Yeah, it's a bit of an extension of what they saw in the Sabo Archipelago arc. And of course, Luffy tells Queen, Hey, Balloon, let's resume the sumo matches. And that's where the episode ends. Oh, yeah, also, uh, Nami gets a chance to chip in some action, too, which I thought was so fun. Yeah, it's like the Straw Hats are going all out in this episode just to, just to basically protect a little girl and her late father, which I thought that was fantastic. Mm hmm. And no new chapter this week, surprisingly. Nope, no new chapter, so don't expect to hear you talk about that because there's no new chapter released this week. So, yeah, 
Good episode. Can't wait for next week. Along with new chapter of the manga. Which will be chapter 991. Yep, and since this episode got to not this is this is 944, it tapped nine, nine, uh, 942. This happened 944, so getting there. Mm-hmm. Yeah, but not much to say about this episode. It's good. Okay, so that's it for single review. I have roughly about two, three more videos to say. Well, one of course will be my hero game. I put up a bit. There's also be Barto and hopefully another Naruto review today. In the case of freezing, well, it's a maybe if I get a chance to say. If not, well, I'll do it tomorrow, okay? See you next video. Bye.